Welcome back to Let's Clone. My name would be Stephen French, and this is part five of, of uh, I will never get this right in the first shot. Part five of our Ice Climbers tutorial. Uh, this one should be pretty short. We're just going to try to add in the clouds at the top. That way we kind of, for the most part, finish the actual environment of the game. Next couple parts will be plugging in my, I guess, kind of clunky fashion, putting in all the other uh, enemies and obstacles and things, and then we'll try to polish it all up at the end if it's not too much of a clump of dirt to, to really work with. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm losing control of this game a little bit and I'm having a fun time trying to, to maintain, maintain course. Let's go. Alright, so just pretty much like everything else, we're gonna start off by adding a sprite. Let's, do we have an environment? We just have any, ah, whatever. Create a sprite. Sprite cloud. Um, I think this is a big cloud, but I, I think there's only one size in this map, so I'm not really sure if it matters. File. Create from a strip. We have where are my clouds? Where are my clouds? Why don't I have clouds? Oh well, fuck! My clouds there. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Let me see if I can do something here. You will already have the cloud sprites. I, for some reason, do not. Um, so let me see if I can just kind of work around this. I'm going to clip through all this. I'm going to get the cloud set up, and then I'll you guys can just import the one that should be in the file already. Ta-da. All right. Just like that, we have a cloud. Um, that should be a lot easier for you than it was for me. I'm going to keep the collision mask hole on it. I think that should work just fine. Um, we're going to come down into our room really fast. I'm going to bring this little guy up to the top because I just don't feel like dealing with with all that. Um, so we've got a cloud going here and a cloud going here. This one goes left to right. This one goes to right to left. Top one being a little bit slower than the other. So let's create an object. Object cloud. Um, give it that. Uh, I don't know how I want to build it yet, but we're just going to pop it into this room so we can see it. Object cloud. So like, I don't quite know where this one goes. Um, I'm actually feeling like in between these two feels right. So change that to four. Give you guys a little grid that you can see. I'm going to put it there. It is in line with, I guess, that tier as much in the middle of those two as I can kind of see it to make sense. And then same with this one. But we're going to need them to travel left and right. I'm going to give them an initial direction. They're going to wrap around the game the game room similar to how the player does. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's see how we can figure this out. I'm actually going to look at Popo real fast to see how I do that. I think I put it in this draw event, wrap around. Yeah. They're just going to write off the bat. We're just going to copy that draw event. And we're going to put it into our cloud. Paste event. Just going to keep it there for now. We're going to create where we will have a initialize cloud. Uh, let's give it a direction. Set it. We're going to set it to zero, and we will programmatically in the map, we will set its direction to horizontal or vertical. So we can, I guess, play with that ability. We're going to have a horizontal speed is equal to, um, this is, we'll set it to zero, we'll have a speed equal to, we'll have one move at three and we'll have one move at two. Um, actually, we're going to do a zero there as well. So we're going to copy this and this will be in our creation code. So let's throw that in there now. So creation code, this guy, creation code, uh, creation code, I, I don't really know. So this one is going to have a direction of positive one and a speed of three, which three might be too fast. We'll figure that out. I will update the, uh, the horizontal speed accordingly. So, you see, yeah, so we don't even need to put that into this. And let's go to this guy, creation code. Now creation code kind of runs just like a create event. Um, I actually don't know if it runs before or it, it should run after the create event because it overwrites it. Uh, but yeah, it works. Set a negative one and a two. 
Um, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do it. I did not mean to do that. But I do actually want to test this out. So if this guy is poking over a little bit and we do draw it, I just want to see if it's already peeking around, if just copying the uh, the player's little bit of that worked. Neat. Okay, so that's something we don't have to worry about. That just seems to work out pretty well. Here, let's go into our young cloud. We're going to give this guy a step event. Um, they just loop around, so really it shouldn't be that hard. Power movement. Whoa. Mechanic. Actually, we're going to want to first off give this a parent. No. I want to make it its own parent. That's very southern. Um, solid. Lock. Okay. That way we can collide with it and we're going to have to change the Popo's code because right now I think he's colliding with every block unless it has the skin of, or I guess the sprite of the block. This way I'll we'll have to tell it to also not break if it has a sprite of a cloud. Um, here we're going to say ASPA is equal to speed times direction. Uh, oh no, I did not want you at all. We're going to say x uh, y movement x plus equals to h speed um we'll say um, uh, set speed and direction oh my god It'll never happen. And then here, wrap around room, not visually, but physically. Uh, we'll say if x is greater than room width, then x is equal to speed. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll go horizontal speed. Let's say else if x is less than zero, then x is equal to room width plus, because that should be a negative, negative speed. I've got no clue. I have, I have no clue. This is, I didn't even really put much thought into it before I pressed record. I just, uh, fuck, did I ever go little face? I did. I did get a little face. Okay. Shame on me. Uh, fool me once. All right. So he's booking. He's going hella fast. But let me see. Whoa. Controls upside down. Let me see. Do I break it? Yeah, we break it. So we don't want. We don't want to build a break. But he's going way too fast. So let's get in here. Creation code. Set you up with a with a two. Let's get a creation code set you up with a one. I don't feel like doing like fraction decimal speeds, at least not until like a properly polishing this. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna see if I can jump on top of it. It won't move me though. Yeah, all right. So we do need to have the ability to detect when we're moving. I don't wanna break it, oh fuck. Um, Let's try to get on top of that one again. Moving on top of a block is actually pretty easy to do. Uh, we'll probably do it in our always code though, because while swinging on top of it, it should still be able to move us. I didn't actually check that out in the other game, or in like the real version. Nice, and we can finally get to the top of this map, where if you jump, there'd be a bird that would catch us and fly us away. Uh, we're just gonna do this though. Neat. Oh, real quick, we still got that guy drawing the dot. I meant to, to take care of that. Come down into our little baby topi. Nope. Topi. Draw. Actually, we can just get rid of that. We don't need the draw event at all anymore. So delete topi's draw event. We don't need that to be happening. We've got a cloud. Now we need to not be able to break the cloud. So that would be in our 
script player our jump state uh, instance destroy. So if ice.spriteindex is not equal to sprite block, and we're gonna do the same thing, ice.spriteindex is not equal to sprite cloud. All right, so now we can't break the cloud, but we can still collide with it. Exit state going out of there. Let's come into our always code. Um, before we update the movement, a ride on cloud. Say if place meeting at x, y plus one object cloud, then uh, let me just say x plus me a plus equals to. Um, uh, I want to get the clouds. I don't know if I can call it here. What if I did, I, I, this is a test. Instance meeting, okay. Oh, instance place, I'm sorry. Instance place at the same x, y plus one object cloud. Since the other one are true, that one should read true dot speed. I, now I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if we can actually treat this like an object or we actually have to pass this into a variable and then treat that like an object. But this will be, a, I guess, a neat way for both of us to find out. Um, first, I want to check and make sure that I can't break it. Bonk, can't break it, good. I want to jump up. That works. Hell yeah. I don't think we have like proper speeds for these. It took about three seconds, so one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. 1,000, 2, That's actually similar. I was counting in my head when I played it on the uh, the browser. That took about three seconds from when it touched here to when it left here. And that seems to be working for me. This one did about two seconds in the game. This seems a lot faster than this one, though. 1,000. One yeah, it, that one should probably be set to like maybe like a 1.5. Uh, I'm fine with it being whatever it is. I think it's kind of neat that we can actually use that. Um, but as far as the clouds go, this should be everything. So quick, simple little video. I guess we just click, well, let me go big face. Back to big face. Oh, my shoulder. Um, huh. Didn't quite notice that my shoulder was dematerializing. and it, it seems like it still might be going on. We'll ignore that. We have been the whole time, I guess. Um, so that is it for part five. Really quick, just got a cloud up in the game. Hey, kitty cat. Got the cloud in the game. We removed the draw event of the topi because we don't need to be drawing that kind of debug dot because we know that that's working correctly now. Um, we do not break the clouds. We do not jump through the clouds. And if on top of them, we ride the clouds. That's everything. That's all we got to do for this part. And we can now get to the top of the mountain. There's still a lot to do with this game. We're gonna make quite a few more parts out of it. It's gonna be a bit longer project than I initially anticipated, but I'm having a heap of good time making it. Two videos in, in two days in a row. Let's see if we can keep something similar to this going. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the hell out of your day. Peace.